I couldn't help but notice the way all your faces are lit by the candles. And there's a special moment that happens in every wedding that I get to see, and that's when the bride comes down and the groom's face just lights up. As Krista came down, you were just a puddle, weren't you, Jed? But your face was lit up because of Krista's uh, joy and her love to be in your life. And so I can't help but notice all the candles and just think about the truth that these candles are only lit because Jesus lights our hearts and he lit your hearts together. Hi, Jed. Take you, Krista. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. So long as we both shall live. So long as we both shall live. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Kids were just, you know, family friends and never really thought about it. And, yeah, mine's a little tighter than it probably should be. I guess it kind of worked out really well that we came together and at Brandon's wedding. And we lived in Seattle like 20 years ago, and our brothers were friends, and so our families did a lot together. Like we went on a ski trip and. Our brothers remained friends, and my brother went to Jed's brother's wedding, and then Jed came for my brother's wedding like two years ago, and that's when Jed and I reconnected, and I hadn't seen him for like 17 years. It was at Brandon's bachelor party, and I think it was Chris and I's first, maybe our last time at a bachelor party. Um, <laughs> While my now husband and I were at the bar, we noticed Christo hadn't been around for a while. And sure enough, she was over at the bar with Jed. You know, they were, they were talking a little bit, but mostly Christo was just gazing at him. And uh, I was told by more than a few people that Christo was caught looking at Jed like he was a cookie. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Pretty much inseparable from that point on and I guess at one point Jed went above and beyond to try and impress Krista at the rehearsal dinner. He volunteered to leave the party and to go and buy Krista some black and milds. I don't know what that is but, but I guess that was a really important thing to do. Time to swap. <laughs> Time to swap a uh, couple things. Yeah, so I'm from Seattle and she's from Carmel City. Aww.
perfecto. Hi, beautiful. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I heard you laugh. I'm so excited. Are you cold? A little bit. When their eyes they meet, falls in love. Falls in love. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. So Jed and Krista, two are better than one. We know that. But sometimes, when two come together to one, there can be some differences and there can be some adjustments. I had a great chance to visit with you over the last few months and to hear about how you guys are different from each other. Jed, you told me that you're not so emotional. And then we can infer the opposite. <laughs> Jed, you told me, you told me she's different in that she sometimes, your words, I'm sorry, but you said she's messy at times. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> And sometimes Krista might forget some things, but we're different and that's okay. That's what makes this special. And Krista, you told me how Jed is so much more outgoing than you. You told me how Jed is, is more tidy than you. You told me how Jed is more adventurous. It's no wonder that when the two of you come together, there's just a pile of adjustments. Think about it, two becoming one. Even though you shared some differences with me, you also shared some similarities with me, and I'd like to share those. I learned from Krista that you have these similarities. You both love spending time with family. You cherish family deeply. I heard of how you both uh, value words of affirmation, which are so important. I heard about how both of you are so timely. You seek to be on time everywhere you go and respect others' time. And with all those similarities that we just mentioned, there's one that far outweighs them all. You both are people who believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior of all mankind. Continue to invite God to be present into your marriage. Allow God's presence to be that third strand that weaves the two of your relationships together because three chords are stronger than two. Contrary to what we heard at the church earlier, Jed, I'm surprised you made it on time here today. <laughs> As many of Jed's close friends know, he's habitually late. I can't think of exactly why, but a couple of reasons. Uh, while showering, he's singing along to Taylor Swift or, or catching up on the latest episode of Vampire Diaries or Glee. He finds a way to be easily distracted, okay? <laughs> so. 
Krista, uh, I know for sure you have your work cut out in domesticating Jed. He's got uh, some interesting habits. So, for example, his daily meals, they alternate between Taco Bell and those dehydrated meals you find at military surplus stores, <laughs> MREs, yeah. Another interesting habit of Judd's, he uh, orders way too much food at restaurants. I think, I'm talking about enough food to feed an entire family. So, at least from this day forward, you'll have Krista to share it with. <laughs> and Krista, the, the keys to marriage are to love Jesus above all, serve your spouse above yourself, and uh, let nothing of this world come between you and your spouse. And really thanks God, yeah, uh, for this uh, arrangement, yeah. And Krista will come uh, join our family. Join me in a toast, lift your glasses, to Jed and Krista. We can't wait to see your lives unfold for God's glory. Don't be shy. Gonna send